Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 21 of my Minecraft Stoneblock Let's Play series. <laughs> For some reason, when I logged on, I have googly eyes. Oh, <laughs> they're so jiggly. Get them just bouncing around. And anyway, uh, I have been a little bit busy. Oh, wow, that's so distracting. <laughs> um, on, let's say, let's check out the chickens. I have done a little bit of work here. We're down to, we're waiting to get the basalt rod chicken bread up. I just got this um, from the saltpeter and the blaze rod. So those guys are done. So this is the last breed we are waiting for to get the blitz with the T, uh, <laughs> the blitz rod chicken, so that we can start making our own viaduct and uh, expanding our viaduct network to include other areas of the base to make it a little bit easier to get around. So we're almost there. <laughs> Gotta wait for that one to um, get going. Uh, let's do this as well. And let's go check on... Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of the essence is coming in. The little harvester is keeping up. So far, the um, specter coil seems to do the trick. And we have plenty of them. Um... The only thing is it's not very efficient. It probably takes way less to run the harvester, which is freaking amazing. Look at all it does. I mean, even though it's doing the area of effect, it's still the 128 is enough to keep up and that's awesome. But let's look. Oh, almost two stacks of Supremium. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. I think that should be plenty to get us um, our furnace. So let's look at that. Um, oh, damn it. Furnace, ultimate furnace. So we're going to have to go get another star and three or four wither skeleton skulls, which we have that over at our mob farm. So that's not a big deal at all. Um, let's go to the hub and pick up our Supremium Furnace. Um, okay, it's up there. I was like, wait, no, did the parrot just eat my furnace? There we go. <laughs> We're not tall enough to get that. Oh, whew, that scared me. All right, now let's go to the mob farm and pick up. Oh, uh, oh man, I haven't got this uh, set up yet. Um, let's see. The wither skulls are down here. And I don't, I believe I put um, the nether stars in the, the RF, RS system, refined storage. Oh, nether star, where are you? There you are. Another star. Um, <laughs> we now have three of those, and I believe I put the other one at the hub because it's named. It's another star, but we got it from a bag or, or something. Uh, but it's called the North Star, so that's still over there. Boop, 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 boop. Dun, 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 dun. So we need three blocks of Supremium, which we totally have now. This is going to be 
awesome. Three blocks. We still have a stack and a half left. Oh man, those um, those farms have been going crazy. I think it's like this. Oh yes, the ultimate bird is plus 9,001 efficiency because it's over 9,000. What? Oh, look at this. Oh, ultimate furnace. And it did a quest for us. That's the last one in the mystical agriculture. And we get a quest reward. Well, I mean, you know, technically the ultimate furnace is a reward in itself. <laughs> but now we get a loot chest too. So how awesome is that? With one lithium dust. Oh my god. <sighs> it's a good thing <laughs> that the ultimate furnace is its own reward because we totally got hosed on that. Oh, lithium dust. Um, I'm seriously thinking that what we might do, oh, we, we might take like, um, this charcoal and set this up into our system and just put, give it tons and tons of this tiny charcoal because I think the tiny charcoal is going to be plenty. Um, so I'm trying to think where let's let's put it over here because I'll probably have um, something running over to here anyway but just to keep the tiny charcoal in there so let's see how fast this thing goes uh, one tiny charcoal now will smelt one item in a normal furnace it smelt one charcoal. <laughs> so let's see what what will this do? Oh! It smelted a whole stack and had time left over. I bet you could get two stacks off of one tiny charcoal. So, yes, please. So we can just throw all of this in here, the tiny charcoal. Um, and what I did, what I've done in between episodes is I've connected our system to um, this storage system for the, the, the bonsai farm up there. Uh, all of that is feeding into here and it's now connected um, right back there. So we can see all of the things and access all of the things from the bonsai farm, which is awesome. So we have all the wood and all the saplings and all the the fruit and avocados and and everything from our network. So that is awesome. <laughs> um, which is going to be good. It's going to be important to have that connected because I want to um, also. If you notice up here, it goes, the, the cable goes up, 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 up. So it goes up and over and goes, oh, let's see. It goes over and, um, comes down right on top of no 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 yeah it does it does feed into the control the, oh it goes into the slave I, I don't think that matters I think you can still pull out from the slave isn't it up there yeah it's from the slave so Ugh, I can't get that oh no oh no 
<laughs> it won't let me get it. Let me have it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it really, really wants that block. Okay. So we're also seeing all of the things from all of these storage boxes because they're all connected together. So <laughs> that is pretty awesome. So let's go look. And you can see all of the nuggets, all of the certus quartz and the redstone, uh, iron. Uh, what I'm going to work on next is running cable over to our mob system and the farms. And um, what I also want to do is possibly even over on the other side if we're ever over there I want to put maybe um, a crafting grid just so that we can open it up and, and see it from over there because while um, the wireless stuff is cool it's got a very limited range so it would only go to like uh, I don't know Let's look. Um, I think like the first upgrade that you get is 16 blocks, a 16 block radius. Uh, that's the creative one. So here's the wireless crafting monitor and these things have to be charged. Uh, Uh, do, 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 do. But there is um, upgrades. Let's look into the refined storage mod itself. Refined storage. And these are the upgrades that you can put in it. So, um, Uh, do, 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 do. Silk touch stack crafting speed range. I believe the range is what you use. The range upgrade. Yeah. Oh man, I don't. I don't really remember. I. <sighs> So you would need like um, this wireless transmitter, which, you know, none of those look like things we can't do, but the range is what I'm curious about. I think it would cost more in power than uh, it's worth it, in my opinion. We, we can just run cable over to different areas to have it... Um, more easily accessible so like we could have a crafting grid in uh, the processing area crafting grid in we could even put one in the hub so that when we we go there we can access it we could put one in uh, the farms and one in um, the mob system yeah, I think that's the plan and I'd rather have that than the wireless because I don't know that uh, it will reach I guess we could always try it out and see if it reaches if it doesn't then we can just not use it um, but if it does then that's great we can carry it around with us and um, get some way to charge it uh, on us, I believe like thermal expansion has a battery that you can carry around that will charge electronic things in your inventory or your hotbar. So that would be something cool. Um, but now that we have our ultimate furnace, 
I would like to um, work on the wither killer, <laughs> a wither spawner slash killer. Um, so what we want to do is get, see, I didn't have, uh, don't have the obsidian or the cobble hooked up into this storage system. So all of that's just sitting over there, but we can't access it from here. So um, let me throw these in here. And look at all of this. I would, oh, I would like to get the Supremium Armor. We might save that for next episode because Look at, um, let's do Supremium. We need these uh, armor cores. The Supremium isn't going to be the problem. But again, I want to get some of the auto crafting set up before we do this because oh, it's, it's each step is tiered and each bar that we craft is also tiered. So in order to get a Supremium ingot, we have to get a Superium ingot and, and a, and a medium and a Prudentium and a Inferium and a base essence. And then we need these prosperity shards. Um, so I might need to set up a sand sifting system because that's how you can get press. Oh, I wonder, is there like a chicken? Um, I don't think there is. I think the only way you can get these is to sift them. Uh, yeah, there's no um, prosperity shard plant for mystical agriculture. Uh, so yeah, looks like you can crush the prosperity ore or you can sieve it. So yeah, we'll want to get up a sand sifting system just to get that. I mean, it's going to increase all of our ores, uh, plus it will give us gold, silver, and nickel, which is going to be good. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to it. And some more Eulorium in case we want to set up a bigger um, lava power system. <coughs> which we might need in order to, uh, if we're going to use um, wireless RS. So this is probably something I'll do off camera, set this, uh, this guy up and get us ready to get into the Supremium. And we'll also want to set up some auto crafting to get like, say I want to make a Supremium ingot, but I don't want to have to go and manually do a Superium, an Intermedium, a Prodigium, an Inferium. So we'll get all of these um, recipes into an auto crafting system so that we can get these cores because the cores are also going to need the recipes. And look at that, each core is three Wither Skeletons and a Nether Star, uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls. So, in order to, what we're going to do, we have a lot of Wither Skeleton Skulls that we've gotten from opening bags. And, and that will allow us to summon a few. Oh, you know what else I thought? I didn't want to set up a soul sand system, so I didn't, because <laughs> uh, I'm lazy. Uh, but we do have a soul sand chicken that we got from the nether. So I'll probably go ahead and get it done, uh, leveled up to a 10, 10, 10, so that we can have soul sand for our wither builder slash killer uh, once, and, that will allow us to set it up and get it 
fully automated because the one we're going to do today is only going to be partially automated. <laughs> it it will um, <clears throat> given an input chest. It will, you know, what is this? Okay, I think it killed our bird. Or oh no, I remember. Uh, sometimes when you get far enough away from your pets, they just teleport to you. It's so annoying. <laughs> but I was over here clearing out <clears throat> an area for our wither spawner and boop, the parrot just appeared over there. So uh, this is the area I want to make it in. This should be uh, plenty big enough to hold the wither skeleton uh, or the wither boss and give us plenty of room to collect and power it as needed on the outside. Because uh, I don't like, you know, digging out one tiny little hole to, to do it. I like lots of, lots of space so I can see what's going on. <laughs> Stupid. I don't know what. I guess it's a poisonous dragonfly or something. So, let's go and look at making the cage for this. Um, which basically is just going to be, <laughs> be a lot of reinforced obsidian. But we have... Uh, so we're going to grab... Let's go to the hub. We're just going to go over and grab obsidian from back here. How much do we have is the question. Oh, we got four stacks. I hope that's enough. Almost five. Almost five stacks. Uh, so that's pretty good. And then I believe the reinforced obsidian Okay, there's the Ender I.O. And then there's Tiny Progressions. I think we want the Tiny Progression. Oh, that would only take one Obsidian, but it takes Dark Iron. And we don't have any Ender I.O. <laughs> we don't have any Ender I.O. stuff set up. And you need like an Induction Smelter or Alloy Smelter uh, to do that. And which takes more obsidian. So we might as well just use our obsidian and just make iron bars. So each obsidian will turn into a reinforced obsidian. So that is uh, pretty good. So we just need to make up some iron bars. Boop. Um... Let's put this in here. Let's make up a couple of stacks. Um, wait a minute. It's not using the obsidian on me. Oh, we must have had a stack in there. Okay. Where is my obsidian now? Okay. I want to make just like two stacks and then... Uh oh, we ran out of bars. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. And hopefully that'll be enough, and we'll just throw the rest of that obsidian in there. I'm trying to. Th oh, I don't think that's going to be enough. But let's see how far we get so we can see how much more we need. Because it's a 7x7 seven seven area. And what I was looking for was a 5x5x5 five by five by five interior. So this is 4 tall. So that puts that at 6. So actually, I need to go up one more.
or it could go down because I don't know how easily it's going to let's just do it like this boink, 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 boink. yeah I thought I got it figured out before and ta-da okay uh, so <laughs> now it's a seven by seven by seven cube so it's gonna be 49 here and 49 for the floor that's gonna be almost two stacks uh, oh ah that's so loud um hang on <laughs> Oh man, that is very loud. Um, let's do, what would that be under blocks? Let's see if this helps, because man, that's very, very loud. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's still loud. <laughs> ah! I fell. I fell down. Oopsie. Okay, let's turn it down a lot more. Um, let's just do maybe 10 for the blocks. Oh, yeah, that sounds much better, man. All right, now we need the floor. <laughs> I know it's down so low, but it still sounds very, very, very uh, loud. It's just that sound, I think. And let's put our torch back in the middle. Awesome, that only leaves us 30 blocks. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a couple more stacks. Let's get the corners, possibly. Um, now, some of these may not seem like they're necessary, uh, but I like doing the corners because if you don't, um, it can actually still explode the block, and then that explosion can then go out from there. Uh, so I like to do the corners and the walls and everything to keep it from, uh, exploding any more blocks on the outside of it and it's um i've never uh had a wither i had a wither killer spawner in my husband and i's world and it never had an explosion go beyond these uh reinforced obsidians so it's definitely worth it to get those going And what I might do is just leave, since the wither is so big, um, he shouldn't be able to fit out of a door. So we don't even need a door because I don't think uh, he can't really duck down to see out of it either. So I think it'll be okay to just leave it open. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, we're going to need to go get some more of that stuff. Boink. Put that away. Put you away. I did get all of that uh, area in the farms um, 
I got all the lights put up. Let's go check that out. Uh, there are like no torches and I thought, well, it did take it a while to light every room up and there were dark spots and some of my crops uh, became unplanted until it was uh, eventually lit up and then I replanted everything. Um, also check this out. It also goes down so I was able to remove all of the torches from down here as well. So that's awesome. I thought about putting it over in the mob farm area, but I don't want it to light up the inside of the mob farm. So that's a, <laughs> that would be a bad thing. All right, let's get some more of those. Probably gonna run out of bars again. Yep. There we go. I think maybe two more stacks. I don't think that's gonna be enough either. Oh, that was just enough bars for what we had. I don't want to do that. Okay, so mob farm. Um, I guess we can start thinking about the pieces that we need to go along with the wither builder. We're going to get um, the wither builder, the block itself. Uh, do, 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 from industrial foregoing. This will actually place the blocks down while it's not necessary. Um, it allows you to build it without being in the room. That way you don't have to run off. <laughs> you can like uh, apply a redstone signal to this to tell it hey go ahead and build it and be safely away and not have to run off uh, so that is good and we'll probably use the industrial foregoing mob grinder because um, the one we have the mob grinding utilities is only a single block And I wonder, can you, does it have like a place where you could upgrade the range on it? Is that a thing or will it only ever do one block? Uh, this looks like um, it has room for specific add-on. But I know that the industrial foregoing one will do the area that I need it to. I can... Well, I don't know. We have all the stuff for all of them. I think it'll just be easier because the industrial foregoing will gather all of the loot as well. So that's one less block we have to build. Whereas if I build the mob masher, I also have to build an item collector. So if we do the industrial foregoing, we don't need to do an item collector. So that, um, that would help. So we need a wither builder and, uh, let's do wither builder and, um, I forgot what it's called. Mob. Mob Crusher. Mob, and we don't want this one. <laughs> a mob Duplicator. Mob Detector. And with. Yeah. We're also going to want that too. But that'll be later. So we want the Mob Crusher. There we go. We want these two blocks and that's going to be like the foundation for our weather builder. 
and right now we'll just have it uh, semi-automated where we're basically <laughs> going to have a chest that will feed into the wither builder and the mob crusher will just feed out into another chest um, so yeah let's go ahead and get this our cage built up um I'm trying to think I might we might want to wait on uh, all of these the actual walls uh, because I don't know where we're gonna place these like uh, so let's go ahead and get our blocks built so we can find out where we're gonna place them and where we need to place the rest of our blocks and we should be able to get hopefully everything we need for these in our refined storage system so ooh books And I think I might have thrown the plastic in there. Let's see what all we got in here. Yeah, we have the plastic. We have the redstone. We're going to need two gold gears. I believe we have leather, but it's not in the system. So we're going to need some books. Let's go see how much leather. Oh, I keep forgetting that I can do this. Oh, and I went to the wrong one. Poo! <laughs> I know we get leather out of our traps. So let's see if we have... Oh, we got a stack. Let's just grab a whole stack. And then... <laughs> we got a little bit of sugar cane over here we'll just go ahead and make up a whole stack of books and throw them in our system there we go that way we don't have to worry about you know running over back and forth trying to find stuff for a single book because i think uh the next the next recipe might also take books <sighs> So now we need is our sword, our iron sword, and a machine frame, steel casing, or let's do the machine frame. There we go. And there's our mob crusher. Bada bing, bada boom, yes. Oh, we don't have soul sand or with, oh, wow. Does this take, uh, let's do the machine casing. That's <laughs> the one part we can do. Uh, okay, so we're going to need another star. I believe we have that in there, but we're going to need our wither skeleton skulls. So let's go over to the mob farm. We need two. I'm hoping that'll still leave us plenty. Oh yeah. It's gonna be like 10 or so withers that we get to kill. Awesome, awesome. Is that all we need? Is that all we need? Yeah. Um, soul sand do we have that over here yeah we do we have some <laughs> so we're gonna have to uh, take that with us because that's like um, oh no I think I've got some soul sand in another chest too but I think that should pull 
from my inventory as well. Yeah, there we go. There's our Wither Builder. Now we're going to need some way to power these guys and um, Oh, let's go to the hub because we I want to check and see if I have any more soul sand over here. Oh, I don't. That would have been the chest that it was in if I had any. Okay, well 27 is enough for 9 anyway. Oh, do do do. There we go. <laughs> and that should power it. Uh, we'll also have to deal with liquids and everything else. Uh, let's, let's place the block down and see. I think this is like uh, the duplicator where the spawn area is going to be centered around this. So we might have to put this... Aha! We could actually... could actually put that under because uh, so we don't need to break that block but we do need to go underneath hmm okay well that's good that's good that we figured that out um, Where am I going to put, uh, let's do this. We'll go one, two, three, four, and then down one, um, maybe like three more down. probably going to need some torches. Okay, we can go And then one more. I'm gonna have to repair this. Okay, so now we're at the corner here. But we should be directly underneath the floor. This should be the center, so we can just, oh it's not, let's see, where is the edge, there we go. Haha, -ha. there we go. Let's see where this edge is. There we go. And where is the center? Seven by 
actually that would be nine by nine so it should be one two three four that should be the center one two three four one two three four okay good <coughs> So now we just need to take our wither builder and put it there. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I know. I forgot. We're going to need a couple of chests, an input and an output chest. Grab the wood. Do we have any sticks? We do not have sticks. Oh my god, there's no reason why I shouldn't have sticks. <laughs> I must have uh, put those away on accident. Let's go grab. I don't want to make sticks because I have so many, there's no reason to make a stick ever again. <laughs> ever, 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 ever ever again. All right. Oh, well, we're here. We might as well just make it here. We're going to need two of these. And we'll keep those. There we go. And boom. Oh no, okay. I forgot, I needed uh, those. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome to uh, get these things automated. All right, so we have our input and output chest, and we're just going to run um, some Ender I/O cables to import and export uh, items from these blocks. Um, so. Uh, Let's grab our item conduits. So this is just gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna come and throw like our soul sand and our wither skulls that I forgot. Oh man. Oh, did he see me? He tried to blow up. There's so with the skeleton skulls. And um, I will probably spend time trying to get our wither skeleton skulls automated as well. And that, I mean, it's going to be a huge uh, system dependent on other systems to supply it with the soul sand and the wither skulls that it needs. Uh, but we can do it. It just will take time. Uh, so we want to uh, do, 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 get this. Yes, extract. Always active. And then we want this to insert. All right, so we just put these in here. And bam, it does that. Now I want it to show the working area so we can pretty much make sure that it's not powered right now so it's not gonna build it and I don't think this um, that torch is probably not going to last but we need a light to spawn in there 
or a light to keep things from spawning in there. Um, is there some sort of... We have these blocks now. Uh, yeah, reinforced glass. Oh, okay, so we might want to make one of these so we can put like a one on each side and then put like a, a torch right outside of it. So it's, um, let's see if that will be enough light if it's like right there, right there right there we're still missing one light but I think if we put like a block here that should do it okay so the other ones we're gonna want like uh, the reinforced glass on these three sides so let's go make that and then we can fill in the rest uh, oh yeah we didn't figure out where we want the mob crusher is going to be pretty straightforward as well so we're just gonna want it probably right there but it's facing the wrong way boink and let's make sure we show that area that area is gonna be small so we'll need to uh, range upgrade to make sure that it can cover this whole 5x5 five five area so it starts out as one and then three and then five so it should need like a I think a tier one or two upgrade should be sufficient and then we'll just oh actually we're gonna have to probably will that yeah it looks like the two on the sides We'll cover that one but maybe we should put the window right above it just in case like the <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's go make the windows now now that we know our blocks are placed properly I completely forgot about that uh, yeah, we don't want the any other mobs spawning. So, where are you? It's so hard to see that block. Oh, it wants dirty glass. Oh, that's going to take five of our sand. Okay. The soul sand isn't going to be a thing. I thought it was just normal glass. Oh. All right. Um. Warp or soul sand. Uh, yeah, I'll get that. Uh, soul sand chicken started in between episodes let's just get our cage finished and I will um, go ahead and tinker around let's see we do this and that oh I, I needed one more Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh man. All right. Let's get our one more soul sand. Oh geez. Right, how about we just instead of me running back over there again we're gonna go ahead and 
finish this and hopefully this will be enough. Okay, and then we just want to make sure we leave the ones right beside the torch empty for the glass. Ooh, is this going to be enough? I think we're going to be short. Some. Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six more. Oh, no, 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 no. I have some more on me. Yay. So there we go. The cage is complete. We just need three of the glass and it'll be done. And then I'm going to um, wire these up. They're not going to be always active. Uh, well, this can because uh, if the wither's there, we want it to be killed. So we could leave this on all the time but what we want to have control over is this one so i'm going to wire up some form of redstone to where this is only active on a redstone signal and uh so it doesn't just always spawn it, it will only spawn if i come back here and flip the switch and that's <laughs> That's the big thing. Uh, once we get it to where we have with the skeletons coming in and we have the soul sand coming in, we can just let it run and just constantly produce nether stars. And that'll be awesome. So uh, we'll work more on this next episode and uh, hopefully I'll get some uh, progress on the, the refined storage system so that, <laughs> you know, we can automate some of these things for like the Supremium armor that I want. would really like some Supremium armor. So yes. Um, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. Uh, <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.